You talked about um, the whole sort of American experience and how, you, you know, obviously the Kaniki thing and celebrity rehab, and it just seems like everything in America, every facet of life comes with a camera attached to it at this point. And any, uh, any time now you go out the front door, you're on world television. It's just bizarre, isn't it, now? On I the little camera phones, it's like you'd be uploaded on. I mean, the thing, the thing that happened in Canada, uh, by the time we got to the hospital... It was online. ..which was, let's say, about... Because we carried on for about half an hour, so it's 40 minutes by the time we got to the hospital, the doctor said, what's happened to you? And we put a laptop on the thing, and it was it was there, and he could see exactly what happened. It was like mm. the, the people were still at the gig, kind of things. You know, the feedback hadn't stopped from the from the stage. Weird. It was like it's a sign of the times. I mean, a lot of it, a lot of it is great. I mean, it must be great to be a kid and be computer savvy and be connected in theory to everyone around around the world and all that. Mm -hmm. But for old codgers like us, it's a bit like whoa. I don't mind putting myself on the line and saying, you know, it's not my it's not my generation. You know, and we, still I don't, don't get it. I still don't have one. I still yeah. don't have a computer. Do you have a computer? I do, yeah. Mm. I mean, but, you know, I've got older kids as well, and that's where it started, really. Mm. I thought, we need one for the house. Mm. That's mm. almost like my dad used to go, we need a telephone, seriously. Mm. And, um, and I do see the benefit, and I do see the way that some kid who's rabid to see us will go on YouTube mm. because they won't be seeing us for four months, mm. you know. Mm. I mean, it's the greatest invention of our lifetime, yeah. you know, but it's like it's kind of like as seismic as the telephones, you know what I mean? Mm. But it's not, it's not something I, I've got this far without one. My, I, my, my missus has got one, and obviously my kids are all wised up in it. But I love this to, though. No license, no computer. No, no. He, has to, he has to, he has to, he has to. I do his iPod. He does my iPod. Do my iPod again. Yeah, but he's one of these. He's one of these guys who, you know, people have stuff randomly on their iPods. Yeah. There's nothing random at all. He's like, get rid of that one. Get rid of that one. Get well, rid of that one. He's stripping the fun out of it for him, aren't yeah, you? But the, you know, yeah, but the, like, yeah. <laughs> no, 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 but the thing is, if you're... Because we have a lot of people back in the dressing rooms after gigs, yeah. Yeah. and if you've got it on the shuffle, you've got to be ready, f you know, f for, you know, the snide disco tune coming on. Like, no, no, I didn't know you were a big scouting for girls, man. No, 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 no I'm the Lion King with a little mermaid. I'm brutal. I'm brutal with my iPod. I don't, you know... You're going down, mate. Can you please, just once, just just once, please, just sneak a Hoosiers track on there, just once, just so when it's on shuffle, there's a little scout of she's a lovely... We've had... We had Lee Mavers in our dressing room once, right, and Andy had his iPod on shuffle. Yeah. It's probably the most stressful 40 minutes of his entire life. Please don't be... He was just stood by his iPod, just, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's yeah. Just, uh, they're going like, oh, why did you keep changing the tune, lah? I was like, ah, because all of a sudden you hear the dun, 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 it. Yeah, his missus' his tunes are coming on. That's why. I think if thing? I think we should we should have started a X Factor for the drummers gig last time. I mean, there's a series in there, you know, play drums because you could get it from like you know, auditioning. Can I us, be... us, lot, us lot sat around watching it and really then, 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 then doing proper auditions and then you get to play with the band but for 18 like... weeks but of then... hearing people do drum solos is not great TV. No, no, not drum solos, but you drum along to the tunes and then, but ultimately they would end up in rehab, you know what I mean? It's brilliant. <laughs> it is getting a bit tap yeah. it, with the whole drums thing. What can you do though? You know, what but this new guy... Do? Chris is great, yeah. He's got high hopes, <sighs> keeping his feet under the table right now. Oh. Yeah, he's great, he's one of, you know, he's a northerner like us, he's one of the, he's the same age and all that. We've yeah. got the same, the same cultural... Nice. Reference points. He's been in the Laos, yeah, you know, and all. Do. So it's like, but you know, the thing with Zach was Zach kind of quit because he had <laughs> going on his personal life. You know, we're kind of well aware of how it looks. You know, I mean, we were devastated at the time. I remember thinking, you know, we got told halfway through mixing that mm. he that he couldn't he couldn't come and do the tour, and it's like, oh, not, not again. again. Do you know what yeah. I mean? You know, I hope Chris sticks around, but. There we go. We'll see what happens. Man, you can only you know you can only put the right guy behind you know on the stool and hope that circumstances. Nah, to be quite money. to be, to be quite honest, if, if it doesn't work out with Chris, we are completely <laughs> because <laughs> I don't yeah. know. I really wouldn't have a clue who else to ask. Yeah, well, you've been very lucky so far. So. I was really? going to say, you know, we do it. It's amazing. Flats and Dagenham. Flats and Dagenham. Yeah, do you know that? Man? That's Does he know all that? All the paradiddles and all that. 
I thought you were a guitar man. I'm a bit of everything, man, badly. You know? <laughs> everything man badly. You know, that's what they call me back home, man badly. <laughs> it works for me. Uh, um, the touring side of things, I know that obviously right now you're nursing some, some, some broken ribs mm. and that, you know, it's tough to think about how, how long you could, but like, we, want, you, we need you to play this record because the tunes oh, yeah, doesn't need yeah, to be heard, you know? Yeah. Well, it's deliver I mean, the, everything's kind of geared. The, the UK tour starts two weeks today in Liverpool. We don't. Nice if 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 for some medical reason that gig can't be done, it'll be devastating because that'll mean that there's two years of work up with Swanee. Do you know what I mean? You'll be okay. You'll be okay. I, if they have to carry, if they have to carry me on, I'll do it. I didn't feel that bad until yesterday. And I went for a CT scan, and there's, when you when you actually see it, you know, I thought I had two broken ribs, and they said you've got three, and three. I was like, <laughs> How many have you got? Yeah. Sex aside, isn't it? I know. Seven. School was clearly not a waste on me, was it? I was it? off that day. <laughs> well, let's put it this way. Mine, the ones that mine are broken are eight, nine and ten. Just Good day for Man City? Yeah, oh, brilliant. Yeah, yeah. That's the only thing that's keeping me going at the minute. What have I been watching? Uh, there's not been a great deal on, to be honest. He's that's just kind of right. sit there doped up on pills, just going... Yeah. Wow, you've got an Ace and Street heavy, man. Your missus and your kid must be loving it, yes. though, to be honest. Well, the kid was one yesterday. I couldn't even pick him up to give him a bit of rough and tumble on his birthday. Yeah. That's, oh, a good day. That's a good day. So uh, I've, I've had a long-distance relationship with him. I've had firm handshakes. Morning, son. <laughs> All right. You know, can't pick yeah. him up, but, yeah. I always pictured you as a post-wartime kind of father, you know what I mean? I, yeah, I'd, well, God, what's wrong with his boss, man? Do you know what I mean? I'm not into this. They're little people. They're not little people. They're little idiots is what they are until they're 18, and then they're little people. Then they're big idiots. Yeah, then they're, well, <laughs> you know. My, my daughter said to me the other day, she went, why do you, why do you keep calling me a little idiot? Uh-oh. Like, that's, that's what you are. Uh-oh. Idiot. Some people say that, you know, when you become a parent, especially in the music field, that you can leave your guitar at the door. You know, you guys, it hasn't happened. Is it a difficult balance being, you know, a parent and still wanting to be in that band that you were in when you were sort of like 10, 15 years ago, you know what I mean? Oh, it's different. I mean, my son, he's old, he's big yeah. now, but he used to burst into tears every time he saw Noel. Yeah. Because he'd see he's taking daddy away. Yeah, like, exactly yeah. that, man. Yeah. I saw him at the door Seriously. and he just opened and he, and, and he just... <laughs> oh, Boy, it's totally different now. He wants to come on to it. Go and get your dad, you little idiot. <laughs> Go on. <laughs> yeah, out of it. Go on. What about you, Noel? Know? I mean, has it been an interesting experience? Well, you've got to, you've got to uh, balance it out properly. It's like you know that we don't, we're not, we don't work seven days a week. Mm. You know, all we have like a year, we have a year off every two, every two years. So for that year, you're a dad, and I, I'm not. I don't think of being in a band or anything like that. I don't do any, you know, I don't mm. do any work for the group. I might do like bits and pieces, but. But the two years where you're putting records out and touring, you know, that ain't going to be around. Yeah. And, it, and the thing is, it's like, we were doing this before you came along. <laughs> Old school, man.